Last week, Brian and I got to share with you one of the furriest campgrounds we have ever visited. But this week, we keep traveling and find ourselves in a cute little mountain town called Julian, then make our way to Anza Borrego State Park for one last adventure before B leaves van life and me behind. We're Brian and Crystal, and this is Von Hala Adventures. Hey. <laughs> we just landed in Julian, California, which is just a short distance from where we stayed last week. It looks like a cute little western town, kind of up in the mountains near Anza Borrego State Park. We heard it has delicious apple pie. Oh yeah. Which Brian is all about. Can't wait. Apple cider, which oh, you're also all about. That too. <laughs> and some antiques and cool stuff. So we're gonna go check it out. Apothecary is closed. Looks like a bunch of other stuff is closed. It's Tuesday. I guess a lot of stuff is closed on Tuesday. Lesson already learned. Don't come here on a Tuesday. In case you missed last week's vlog, we were at the Campo Creek Vineyard and one of the owners there <laughs> said to come to Julian, California and they are known for their apple pie. So we are getting a nice apple pie. Pretty satisfied with that choice. Oh yeah, I think next I need to get some cider. The reason why there are big apple pies here, cause there's a big, I guess, apple orchard around here, but I don't know what it's called. Sorry. I mean, it's another pie place. We have to find out which one's better, right? I feel like, no. Yes? <laughs> uh, hey, if anyone of you has ever been to Julian here in California and you've done the whole pie thing, which is the best pie place in town? Leave it in the comments, because we would love to know. I also want to find out where the best cider is. And there's a um, cider, cider mill right behind me. But since we're here on a Tuesday, everything seems to be closed. Let's see if that theory is correct. So Julian's a pretty cool little western town and it's only an hour and a half from San Diego. And one of the reasons we came up here was of course because we heard of it or we visited the Campo Creek Vineyard, which was last week, but really it was just yesterday for us, wasn't it? Correct. Anyways, you, I will put a card up so you can go check out that video. That was a pretty epic adventure. But we also wanted to go visit Anza Borrego State Park. We heard it's a pretty epic state park with some sculptures and just a cool little area and we have no idea where we're staying tonight but we wanted to bring you along for the ride as we found a just really cool boondocking site so we want cell phone service views and just like a chill place to hang out with not a lot of people around so that is our goal for tonight so in case you haven't watched our parking video, one of the apps we use to find really cool boondocking spots or even campgrounds is iOverlander. So we're looking right now to see what's around the area. Then we're gonna go through all the comments. Do we need cell phone service tonight? Nope. That's always nice. It makes it a lot easier when you're finding a campground, but we do want something really cool. And that's just not on the side of the road. B and I really don't like staying on the side of the road, like, or on a highway. One, because cars always go by. And two, I've had one of my cars totaled by it being sideswiped on the side of a street. And if we're on the side of a street and it's our head, like it could kill us. You know, I'm at that age where I just, I, I care about those things. <music> I found our first one. It says, wild free camping, no internet, no toilets, no water, no people. Sounds like our kind of place. Beautiful canyon, clean and wild, and the photos look pretty good. Okay. I feel pretty good about it. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Well, sometimes this happens. Uh, we use iOverlander, and then we are following the coordinates on the GPS, and then it says we're here, but there's nothing here. At this point, we're in the middle of nowhere. We're just gonna look for something. That's really all we're gonna do. I don't think we even have a signal, do we? I Overlander works without signal. It was weird. It was like actually like a canyon on the side. Oh, it looks like there's a turn off over here. Oh, 
Oh, Plum Canyon. This is where we're supposed to be. The coordinates were just off on the GPS. Okay, do you want to roll up over here? This is the road. Yeah, let's do it. Coordinates are so weird. Like some people like start driving away and put coordinates like while they're driving, not realizing that you would need to make the post on iOverlander when you're actually at the spot. It does get a little sandy, but it's packed. But you know, you got to really pay attention out here because all of a sudden you could be spinning tires and you're done. This looks good. Do you want it so the door faces that way? Yeah. So I'll pull in forward and then we'll go like this. So I'm thinking tonight we're gonna have a vegetable curry with just a lot of vegetables. I think it's our last supper together. I'm just gonna make a supper. A nice curry tonight. favorites for your, your last supper. I made like a, pe a spicy peanut curry. When we travel around the country, we don't usually ever go to regular grocery stores. We only shop at health food stores. When you get an idea of a food of an area, you get an idea of the, the energy, the culture of an area, even if we're just in the United States. And the best sriracha we've ever had is from this place in California called Chef Tanya's Kitchen in Palm Springs. And I've been waiting a whole year to re-up on this, mm. but it's Jojo's Sriracha and it's wild fermented chili sauce. And it has no cane sugar in it. So it's just chili peppers, vinegar, garlic, sea salt, and coconut palm sugar. And it is so good. It's like gold. So we're gonna have it tonight. Cheers. Mmm. Great job, babe. That was really good. Excellent. Two thumbs up. The best ever. So this morning we are headed out to Anza Borrego State Park. I've been looking at this state park for probably about a year now. I think it's going to be really cool today. Located only two hours east of San Diego's beaches is Anza Borrego State Park and the town of Borrego Springs. Artist Ricardo Braceda has created 130 enormous metal sculptures that depict prehistoric animals and an assortment of mythical creatures. While we've been driving around, we've noticed there is a ton of BLM land around here. So there is plenty of places to just chill and there is cell phone service. So Borrego Springs, I'd put that on your list. This has been a pretty cool adventure. Very cool. But I think now we need to start heading back to San Diego because you got to get going. I'm so full, aren't you? Very, very full. <sighs> we just had the best Mexican food we've probably, probably had in the whole country. It was called Rancho Casino. Casina. Casina. I'm going to put the details down below. We're staying mm. down at the marina and there's all this free camping. Do you tell everybody why you're leaving? I uh, I travel for work. I work for bands and I work for Gary Clark Jr. right now. I do sound. I'm also the production manager. Flying on a plane tomorrow <laughs> to start a new tour. Brian's going on tour. It's going to be kind of off and on for a little bit. B's got to pack and do all that stuff. So we're going to sign out for the night. See you in a couple weeks. I'll see you all probably in a few days. I'm going to be putting out some of my own content. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Catch you later. I miss you, babe. I miss you too. I'll be back shortly. Thank <laughs> you.
No, you too. Be safe. You too. Have Bye. a good flight. What are you doing? Witnessing life. Looks like your twin. Oh. It's a selfie!